Because of the HIV AIDS pandemic, one in five Zambian children is an orphan. The traditional extended family system simply cannot cope, cannot care for all the needy children. There are large numbers of street kids, children who are the heads of their households, youth with no hope or of education or a secure future. We believe that these most vulnerable young people deserve the best, something that all children deserve. Lubuto libraries are often the only door open to children to whom every other door is closed. In these libraries, that are used and loved by all, isolated and outcast children are connected with society and their peers. Lubuto's goal is to give marginalized young people the opportunities that all children should have, to develop knowledge and skills, to be creative and express themselves, and to connect with society. We focus on three main strategies. First, we provide a welcoming and safe environment that has the best books and materials for learning. Second, we offer customized programs and services that not only help children learn and grow, but are fun and exciting. Third, we help communities and teachers to do a better job in supporting disadvantaged young people. Lubuto is well positioned to make a real difference with a network of supporters in Zambia and around the world. At the same time, our library buildings and programs are completely unique, making them visible in the community and drawing people to us. Many of our staff and volunteers grew up in these communities, on the streets or in tough circumstances. They can relate to the kids. They understand their reality, so they're trusted. They also know other organizations in the area and can connect kids to services that the libraries themselves can't offer. Over the years, Lubuto's leadership and staff have learned a lot about what works and what we need to do to achieve our goals. Working directly with the government has been the key. Zambia has a public library system run by the Zambia Library Service, which is part of the Ministry of Education. We're working in close partnership with them, rather than creating a parallel system or duplicating efforts. Secondly, we draw on local expertise. Many Zambian leaders and professionals support our efforts and provide guidance through our advisory board and through program planning. Our close connections with the community help keep our programs relevant and responsive to the needs on the ground. We keep data on how many visits the libraries get, the characteristics of the kids that come, and what they do at the library. We also track our successes through regular interactions with our users, volunteers, parents, teachers, community members, and leaders in Zambian society. When they share what Lubuto libraries mean to them, each story is unique and inspiring, but collectively they offer a compelling message. Lubuto libraries not only help children learn to read and love books, but also to become self-confident, express themselves in ways they never could before, and find their place in the world. Many kids who started using Lubuto libraries years ago and are now young adults return to give back and help the next generation. Others have discovered their talents in arts and technology and are on paths that were unimaginable to them a few years earlier. When people hear libraries and Africa in the same sentence, they often think of book donation programs. Lubuto could not be further from a book donation program. We supply carefully crafted book collections built by library professionals, including all available local language and other Zambian materials. And Lubuto libraries offer far more than excellent book collections. They offer access to technology, and programs that consider the whole child, for instance, our mentoring program, which uses both traditional and classic stories to help vulnerable children find their place in the world and direction for the future. Well, one sure sign of our success is how popular the libraries and their programs are. Each Lubuto library gets about 2,000 visits every month, 
and hundreds of children additionally participate in our programs every week. We've also been able to develop some truly innovative programs. For example, through our Lobuto Literacy Program, we work with Zambian youth and teachers to develop 700 interactive reading lessons on the one laptop per child computers, which are helping kids learn to read in their mother tongue. Lobuto is up against some real challenges. The sheer number of vulnerable children can feel overwhelming, and we encounter a lot of misperceptions about what role libraries can play in helping them. Like most small nonprofits, making sure we have a steady funding is a challenge. Lobuto keeps its operating costs low and strives to balance funding sources, so when one grant ends, we can still keep activities going. Also, we're fortunate to have a great network of volunteers, but sometimes relying on volunteers can create vulnerabilities when people have limited time to help. With more resources, Labuto could ensure that programs that our children love, like our mentoring, arts, and drama programs, are offered continuously, without disruptions, when one grant ends. We could also provide Internet access in the libraries, which is currently a challenge. Additional resources would allow us to bring on more local staff to make sure that everything runs smoothly and effectively. And of course, with more funding, we could bring libraries to more children that need them. There are so many communities just waiting for a Labuto library. Lobuto has several new ideas in the works that address the needs that we've seen in Zambia. For example, high rates of teenage pregnancy and motherhood prevent many girls from going to school and may also keep them from coming to the libraries and participating in our programs. So we're developing early childhood programming that can help young mothers along with their children. But one of our big dreams is to create a Lobuto Storytime video program that not only makes our storytelling accessible beyond the library walls, but also preserves stories from Zambia's oral traditions.